Uh, good morning, my dear students. How are you today? I hope that you are feeling good. Today, inshallah, we are going to start our uh, first lecture from the part of Oxford English for Nursing. Uh, today is Unit 1's lecture, and Unit 1 is entitled Patient Admission. I hope that you will enjoy this unit. So let's start our lecture for today immediately. Okay, so before starting any unit in this part of Oxford English for Nursing, we have to check first the plan of the unit. In this plan, you are going to see what are the main objectives which actually this unit targets and what are the main topics that we are, are going to deal with on the level of the functional language and on the level of grammatical rules and on the level of vocab. So for today's unit, the main umbrella themes are, number one, we are going to deal with hospital jobs and personnel. And by the word personnel, I mean taqim al-amal, all those people who are working in a hospital, whether they are doctors, nurses, or whatever their job is. The second umbrella theme is hospital departments and facilities. The third umbrella theme is admissions. And the fourth umbrella theme is checking in a patient. On the level of functional English, we are going to understand the hospital uh, shops. And also we are going to describe hospital departments and the facilities. Also how to explain a process and to assess a patient. Also how to interview a patient and how to give directions. On the level of the English language grammatical rules, we are going to learn what is the difference between using the present simple tense and the present continuous tense. Also some information about using the right prepositions of uh, locations like between, opposite, in front of. Also we are going to learn more about using some requests while we are de dealing with patients. Like, could you fill in this form please? Also, we are going to learn how to describe a location to a patient, like the butter is next to the light. On the level of the vocab, we are going to learn a lot about hospital jobs and personnel, hospital departments and facilities, also emergency room and how to pronounce many alphabets related with a patient admission. We are going to learn more about patient details and hospital room facilities. So I hope that we'll, you will enjoy our unit for today. Let's start our unit immediately. Okay, patient admissions, unit one, patient admissions. Uh, on your right uh, hand, we have here some uh, uh, main uh, targets or main objectives, again, just uh, stressing or focusing on uh, the main uh, parts of the unit. We have, uh, we are going to talk about hospital jobs and personnel, talk about hospital departments and facilities. We are going to handle admissions and we're going to uh, learn how to fill in uh, a patient admission or how to help him or her to fill in uh, the, the form or the admission form. Also, we're going to learn how to check in a patient. Okay, so as you can see in this uh, picture, we have here uh, different uh, uh, persons uh, who are uh, working in a hospital. We have some of them actually are uh, doctors, others are nurses, and we have also here uh, the cleaner, uh, here and the porter here and we have the receptionist so um, this in this image we can see all kinds of uh, people who are um, all, all kinds of professions uh, uh, that people can uh, uh, do or um, uh, work in a hospital for um, in the next slide inshallah we are going to learn more about the uh, the name of each one of the of those people and we are going to define also the function of each one of them so let's move on 
Okay, so uh, hospital jobs and personnel. Uh, this is a vocabulary exercise. We have uh, here two exercises, one and two. Uh, number one says, look at the picture and match the job titles from A to I with the hospital personnel from one to nine. So in each exercise, number one, we have uh, the names of uh, each one of those person which we have already checked in the last uh, slide or in the previous slide. Um, we are going to read together uh, the names of their uh, jobs in exercise number one. And then when we move to number two, we are going to have a full description of each one is a function inside a hospital. So we are going to make uh, some kind of matching between uh, the name of the job and uh, the function of that person who actually um, has or work in that job. Okay, let's read together uh, the names of the jobs. Number A, charge nurse or sister. Will a charge nurse or sister هو الممرض المسؤول. Okay, number B, cleaner. A cleaner he is someone who is responsible for uh, cleaning the rooms of the hospital, which is a, a very important um, rule to do. Uh, number C, we have the consultant, al istashiri um, and it's, it doesn't have to be related with medicine. A consultant is someone who actually uh, works in the, um, the administration of the hospital. Number D is paramedic, and the paramedic is tabib al-tawari. Okay, we have also the porter, someone who is carrying um, uh, things or just uh, transporting um, patients from one department to another. We have al also the receptionist, the first one uh, the patients meet uh, in uh, a hospital or when they enter a hospital. We have also the, the surgeon and we have the triage nurse and the triage nurse means in Arabic Mumar uh, al-Farz and we have also the scrub nurse. Scrub nurse means in Arabic Mumarid Atadlik. Okay, uh, let's move on to uh, exercise two. Read and choose the best description from one to nine for each job in exercise number one. Number one, I am responsible for keeping the patient rooms clean. Okay, so can you guess uh, now with which uh, name or with which job we are going to match number one? Yes, number one is P, the cleaner. Thank you so much. Number two, I give emergency treatment to accident victims and then transport them to hospital by ambulance. Number two is, yes, that's right, is I, the scrub nurse. Number three, I deal with patient detailed and check their hospital records. Yes, number three is F, receptionist. Thank you. Number four, I am a senior doctor and I specialize in a certain area of medicine. Yes, number four is D, paramedic. Number five, I'm responsible for making sure the most urgent cases are treated by the doctor as quickly as possible. Number five is A, charge nurse. Thank you so much. Number six, I look after patients during surgery and after their operations. Yes, number six is H, triage nurse. Number seven, I assist the medical staff by transporting patients from one Department to another, yeah, that's right. Seven is E, the porter. Number eight, I'm responsible for running a word. I deal with budgets and with employing staff. Yes, that's right. Number eight is C, consultant. Number nine, I carry out operations on patients. I usually specialize in a particular type of surgery. So nine is G, surgeon. Thank you so much. Let's move on. Okay, in the next part, we are going to learn more about some um, English uh, language um, exercises or uh, English language grammatical exercises. And in this part, we are going to uh, clarify uh, some uh, differences between the usage of the present simple tense and the present continuous tense. Okay, uh, so let's see. Uh, in the present sample tense, we use uh, to talk about routines and things that are permanent or happen all the time. So if you are talking about permanent habit that you are uh, going to do for uh, the rest of your life, and this is something that cannot be 
changed by the passage of time, you must use the present simple tense. And for the present continuous tense, we use the present continuous to talk about things that take place at the time of speak speaking and are not permanent. Okay, so if you are talking about something which is which is going to be changed by the passage of time and something that is going to be changed uh, by the next moment or by the next day or uh, the next month, you have to use the present continuous tense. Let's check some examples about this. The first example is, she works on the children's word. Number two, auxiliaries do not administer medication. So as you can see that these examples actually present two facts that cannot be changed by the passage of time. Those two facts are permanent. So we have to use the present simple tense. Let's check the other two examples. We have here, I'm studying for my nursing diploma. Number two, we are running the clinic at the moment. These two uh, things actually can, can be finished by uh, uh, one day. So these two uh, things are not permanent and we have to use the present continuous tense while we are talking about things with, that are going to be changed by time. Okay, I hope that this point is so clear uh, according to you. Um, let's move to the next exercise and it's a reading exercise. Read the interview with a practice nurse and underline the correct verb forms. Okay, so now we are going to, you are going to listen to um, a practice nurse who is, uh, whose name is Rina Chowdhury. This is Rina Chowdhury. Okay, uh, Rina Chowdhury uh, is practice nurse. She is 33 years old and her home country is Hyderabad in India. Let's see how uh, Rina is going to talk about herself and which kind of tenses that Rina should use in order to, um, to use the right, uh, uh, to put um, her verbs in the right uh, tense. Number one, I work or I am working as a practice nurse in a big doctor's surgery. Uh, what do you think about this sentence? Should Rina say I work as a practice nurse or I am working as a practice nurse in a big doctor's surgery? Okay, so I am working as a practice nurse in a big doctor's surgery. Thank you so much because this uh, she, she can uh, 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 just move from this place to another one. Uh, this uh, my first job since graduation. This is her first job since graduation, but it could it could be her second job. Uh, it could be her uh, another. There there could be another or second job if she decided to move uh, to another place. Okay. I like or I am liking the fact that every day is different. So. Um, the fact, can you see the word fact? This is uh, one of the proofs that this sentence should be, should be what should be in the present simple tense. Once we are talking about facts that cannot be changed, um, um, we have to use the present simple tense. So the right answer, sorry, let me just highlight the right answer. Here and here, I like the fact that every day is different. Uh, another point I want you to take care of is that uh, the verb like is one of the verbs which cannot uh, accept the ing form. And this is because of the sensual uh, nature of this uh, verb. Okay, let's move on. Practice nurses carry out or are carrying out a lot of routine procedures. Yes. Practice nurses carry out very good a lot of routine procedure, procedures because this is a fact about the main responsibilities of practice nurses. So we have to choose carry out. Okay. They change or are changing dressings. Another fact about the functions or the responsibilities of practice nurses. So we have to use the present simple tense. They change dressings and do you know what is the meaning of dressings dressings are the coverage of 
wants and treat or are treating wants etc another fact about uh, practice nurses so we have to choose treat not are treating okay i am or i am being also responsible for giving health checks and advising patients advising here means yansah very good uh, and it's um, it's derived from the noun advice thank you so much uh, so uh, shall uh, Rina say, uh, I am or I am being also responsible for giving. Yes, that's right. Another uh, fact. So we have to say, I am. I am. Uh, P, I am also responsible for giving health uh, checks and ad advising patients. I give or I am giving them advice on healthy eating. Yes, very good. I give yes them advice on healthy eating for example and on health conditions such as asthma asthma you can repeat it after me asthma or diabetes diabetes it's not diabetes no this is a common mistake it's diabetes you have to turn the t sound into d sound and the s sound into z, z sound so it's a diabetes diapedes asthma asthma and diapedes diapedes thank you so much at the moment with a colleague we run or are running okay take care of the word at the moment it's one of the keywords of what of the present continuous tense if we are running a clinic for patients with diapedes diapedes it's very interesting and i learn or i am learning a lot about how to deal with this condition i am learning very good okay like most nurses i don't have well i am not having a lot of free time like most nurses this is a fact if i don't have a lot of free time but i like going well i am liking going again like do not accept the ing if i like going to the cinema when i can't it's not something permanent when i can i also play or i am playing the sitter in a classical music group i also uh, play the sitter in a classical music group okay so that's all about rena chowdhury and um, thank you so much for sharing in this activity and let's move on okay uh, the next activity is a listening one you are going to hear an interview with Carlos da Salva. Listen and answer this question. Okay, so this is Carlos da Salva, and Carlos da Salva is an agency nurse. His age is 35 years old, and his home country is Auckland in New Zealand. Okay. Here is a question about uh, Carlos we have to answer, but we cannot answer this question without uh, hearing uh, an interview with Carlos de Selva. Also in exercise number five, uh, we have to just complete these sentences and these sentences cannot be, can, cannot be completed without listening to the interview with Carlos. So let's move on and uh, Listen to me while I am reading the interview with Carlos de Selva to you. Then we are going to answer the questions. Okay, so uh, this is the interview with uh, Carlos de Selva. Let's listen um, what Carlos is going to tell us about himself. Carlos, I work as an agency nurse and I specialize in renal care. This month I'm working in a transplant unit in Auckland, New, New Zealand, where I am responsible for pediatric patients. Do you know what is the meaning of pediatric? What is the what is pediatrics? Pediatrics hua ilm tibbl atfal. Okay. I am looking after a little girl at the moment who is waiting for a kidney transplant. Okay, and transplant means zira, zira at odu. We here we are talking about kidney. I spend a lot of time with her, talking to her and explain, explaining her condition. I carry out her tests and administer her medication every day, but we also play games. 
This week, I'm teaching her to play dominoes. What do I like about my job? Well, I don't like dealing with the paperwork and there's a lot of it. Dealing with the children can sometimes be very stressful, but I, it can also be very rewarding too. I want to stay in renal care and I hope to quali qualify as an advanced practice nurse. In my free time, I go climbing, so you can usually find me in the mountains. Okay, so that's all about uh, Carlos. Let's. Okay, so uh, let's answer this question about Carlos. What area of nursing does he or, or Carlos specialize in? Number A, renal care. Number B, pediatrics. Number C, emergency medicine. Yes, that's right. I can hear you. Carlos da Silva is specialized in renal care. Thank you so much. For uh, exercise number five and six, those two exercises actually are uh, your one or part of your assignment for today. So let's move on. Okay, this exercise is mainly about hospitals, hospital departments and facilities. So as you can see, we have here some kind of a hospital map or a hospital plan where we can see all the, uh, loca the locations of all the departments of the hospitals. And um, we have here on our uh, left hand some kind of... Um, um, full description of um, all the floors of the hospital but before uh, checking the um, the floors we have to check uh, the main uh, parts of um, the uh, hospital here on the map so um, as you can see here is the main entrance after the main entrance we have the main registration area and we have here the MRI, which is um, an abbreviation of uh, the magnetic uh, resource resource uh, imaging. Okay, اللي هي واحدة التصوير بالرنين المغناطيسي. We have here also uh, casualty, the word, and the word casualty means قسم الإصابات. We have also here uh, security and emergency entrance. مدخل ال الحالات الطريقة Emergency Department Parking Area uh, Radiology and Radiology means قسم the X-rays where the X-rays are uh, done uh, here the um, outpatient lab and radiology X-ray we have also the surgery endoscopy uh, registration and the word endoscopy means um, uh, everything which is related with ilmanadir. And we have um, a very important term in nursing, which is the endoscopy technician. Fanny almanazir. You have to know this term very well. Uh, here is the canteen. It's a place where you can uh, eat or uh, to have some meals. Okay. Uh, we have also the atrium. And the, the atrium, uh, something like a bahu or um, bedroom, okay, or something uh, where they can put the um, the instruments. Uh, we have also here the outpatient pharmacy, and here is the main walk uh, way. يعني رودها رئيسية أو ممر رئيسي في ال في الهوسبيتال. We have also here the emergency care entrance. I think that's all about. Um, the main parts of um, the entrance of the hospital. Um, if you want me to read uh, these signs with you, I can read it with you just to clarify it. We have here, this is the sign of uh, stairs, information desk, a pank, a coffee shop. This is where you can have some drinks. Uh, the vending machines and the vending machines are those machines where you can uh, put coins and buy uh, some um, some kind of um, of drinks cola soda uh, drinks um, some chips some kinds of chips and fast foods okay uh, we have here the gift shop uh, sign and this is the canteen sign and the elevators, the parking, the toilets, the pharmacy, the waiting area, the emergency and the registration desk. Okay.
That's all concerning the main uh, parts of the hospital's entrance. Let's uh, check the floors. Here from the fourth to the eighth floor are the patient rooms. And as you can see, um, the, the numbers of the patient rooms are actually uh, ordered from the lowest floor to the highest floor. Okay, so in the fourth floor, we have rooms from 1 to 50, and in the eighth floor, we have rooms from 201 to 250. Okay, in the third floor, we have the cardiology department. You can repeat it after me, please. Cardiology, cardiology, cardiology. With Amrod Al Qalb. Yes, thank you so, so, so much. Okay, and after that we have the department of the ortho, orthopedics, 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 orthopedics. Okay, and the orthopedics who yes, قسم أمراض العظام أو جراحة العظام أو تقويم العظام. Okay, all these are included in this department. The third one is pathology. Pathology. You can repeat it after me. Pathology. Pathology هو علم الباثولوجي هو علم الأمراض. In the second floor we have the department of dermatology. 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 Okay. وهو الدermatology هو علم الأمراض الجلدية. Thank you so much. We have also the neurology. Neurology. Yes. وهو طب الأمراض العصبية. And we have also geriatrics. Geriatrics. And geriatrics means yes, in the first floor we have pediatrics. Pediatrics and we have also the maternity units. Maternity unit, the renal unit, the renal unit, and in the ground floor we have surgery. Surgery, الجراحة, casualty, casualty, قسم الإصابات, radiology, radiology, okay, قسم الأشعة بكل أنواعها. Okay, uh, let's move on and see how um, the exercises are going to check our understanding of the names of the main parts of a hospital. Let's move on. Okay, this is a vocabulary exercise number one. Use the words in the box to complete the definitions of these hospital departments. Okay, um, in the box we have words like babies, children, el elderly, emergency cases, exercises, heart, kidney, x-ray, x-rays, test results, skin disorders, operations, and the nervous system. Do you know what is the meaning of the nervous system? Yes, al uh, Let's check number one. Casualty is a place where they treat, where they treat what? Uh, can you guess what is the right answer? Yes, that's right. Emergency cases. Number two, surgery is where surgeons carry out. Yes, al Graha هي المكان where surgeons carry out operations. Very good. Number three, medical staff in the renal, in the renal unit specialize in... That's right, kidney diseases. Number four, the dermatology department is where they deal with skin disorders. Very good. Specialists in geriatrics treat problems related to the, yes, to the elderly. And the elderly are the old people. Thank you so much, number six. Pathology is where they analyze patients' Test results. Very good. Thank you so much. Number seven. Midwives deliver. The midwives هم القابلات. Deliver what? Deliver babies in the maternity unit. Thank you. Pediatrics is where they treat children. Pediatrics الأطفال. Okay. طب الأطفال. Number nine. Patients with what disease visit cardiology. That's right. Cardiology هو قسم علم أمراض القلب أو قسم أمراض القلب. So patients with heart disease visit cardiology. Number 10. The radiology department is where they take, yes, x-rays. Very good. Disorders of the what are treated in the neurology department. Thank you. Nervous system. Number uh, 12. 
in the physiotherapy and the physiotherapy department do you know what is the meaning of the physiotherapy yes قسم العلاج الطبيعي patients learn special what to help them recover special exercises very good thank you so much and let's move on so um, exercise number five is another exercise which is asking us about the signs which we see in hospitals so uh, match these samples from a to i with the facilities from one to nine so we have here um, many signs uh, that we see in hospitals and um, under these signs we have the names of each sign we have to match the name with the right sign so let's read the names and try to make a matching uh, number one is a canteen so um, where do you think the sign of the canteen is yes that's right this is the canteen or this is let's let's use another color yes here is the canteen thank you so much number two is the registration desk where do you think the registration desk is yeah that's right this is the registration desk number three the um vending machine and as i as i told you before the vending machine is a machine where you can put coins in order to buy uh, um, different kinds of drinks like uh, soda drinks cola uh, water uh, bottles uh, some kinds of uh, chips and the chocolates okay and it's all done in a digital way or an electronic uh, way okay so um, where do you think is the sign of the vending machine is yeah that's right here is the sign of a vending machine wait a moment yeah this right that's this one thank you so much and number four is pharmacy pharmacy where do you think where do you think the sign of a pharmacy is where is the pharmacy yeah that's right let's move to the pharmacy thank you so much okay the waiting area where is the waiting area sign yeah that's right here is the waiting area number six coffee shop where is the coffee shop where is the place where where is the sign of the place where you can uh, drink different kinds of uh, cough coffee tea soft drinks Huh. yes that's right here is the coffee shop thank you so much number seven cash point the cash point i think the cash point is this kind of sign the do the dollars sign number eight the toilets yes this is a, a famous kind of sign and the guest shop i think this is the last one and the only one which is uh, left yes this is the gift shop sign i hope that you have enjoyed this uh, exercise and i hope that you are now uh, completely aware of the uh, indication of all the signs which we see in hospitals so let's move on okay so this is a lessening exercise um this is some kind of a conversation between a visitor and uh, a nurse we have three uh, conversations in each conversation uh, we have some spaces that we have to fill in uh, and in order to fill in these spaces we have to listen to these three conversations and come back to fill in the spaces so let's move on and just listen to me reading these three conversations then we welcome okay so in these three conversations the v stands for the visitor and n stands for the nurse let's start with the first conversation visitor excuse me i'm looking for the canteen can you help me nurse yes of course go straight on and it's in front of you at the end of the corridor okay let's move to the second conversation visitor excuse me do you know where the maternity unit is nurse it's on the second floor turn left here go straight on and when you get to the information desk turn right at the end of the corridor turn right again and take the elevator a the maternity unit is the first door on the left okay conversation three visitor hello do you know if there is a job in the building 
We want to buy some magazines. Nurse, sure. Just turn left here and go down the corridor. There is a gift shop next to the pharmacy. You can buy magazines there, I think. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, again, this is the exercise that we have to fill in all the spaces uh, um, in these sentences in order to, and in order to do that, you have to check these three conversations again. Uh, I will leave this exercise for you as an assignment and um, you can ask me if you want uh, me to help you in any part of this exercise. Okay, so uh, and I will wait for your assignments. Um, let's move on to exercise number seven. Look at the hospital plan on page six. Do you remember the hospital plan? The plan of the department of the hospital. Listen to the directions from this nurse and follow the plan with your finger. Then circle the correct answer. Okay, so you are going to listen to a nurse who is talking to a visitor and she or he is trying to guide him to something place. And according to the, the next uh, uh, listening um, track, you, we are going to answer these two uh, questions. Number one, Hanul, the visitor is looking for what? For the coffee shop, for the main entrance, well, for the canteen, and you are going to rely this from the description of the nurse. Number two, we are going to say if the visitor is on the first, well, the third, well, the fourth floor, Okay, and there of that from the uh, nurse's description. So let's move on. Okay, just listen to the nurse. From the fourth floor, the quickest way out is to take elevator D down to get to the ground floor. Turn left out of the elevator, then right. At the information desk, turn left. Walk past the gift shop and the pharmacy on your left, and the entrance is opposite the main registration desk on your right. Okay, from the description of the nurse, can you guess what is the target of the visitor or what is the name of the place where the visitor was going to? Yes, that's right. He was go he or she was going to the entrance. Very good. And in which floor he or she was? Thank you so much. He or she was on the fourth floor or what was at the fourth floor so let's move on okay this is another exercise about um, the hospital facilities um, or the uh, different um, actually uh, services which a hospital which is a central hospital in oakland presents um, in this um, leaflet we are going to um, to meet some spaces that we have to fill in using these uh, uh, terms or these words. So let's start with uh, the first part of this leaflet. Okay, the central hosp hospital is saying that highly skilled and experienced emergency medical staff are on hand 24 hours a day seven days a week to provide essential emergency care at the central hospital emergency room and the abbreviation of the emergency room is er in the triage process at the er or at the emergency room we treat patients whose lives are in danger, in danger first a special nurse sorts the other patients and puts them in order to in order according to how bad their symptoms are this is called triage. Again, again, the triage nurse here, Mumarrit El Farz, and as you can see her here, she, he, or she sorts the other patients and puts them in order according to how bad their symptoms are. When you arrive, so as you can see, this is something like the hospitalist policy in dealing with any patient. Uh, who enters the hospital. When you arrive, this is usually what happens. You check in at the, uh, at, at what? Yes, I can hear you. You are completely right. At the, very good, at the reception desk. You give your name, address, and, thank you so much, date of birth. You wait in a, uh, in a, 
Yes, very good. Cubicle. Do you know what is the meaning of cubicle? Yes, cubicle is a part of a room which is covered by curtains or a small uh, or separate rooms, uh, separate walls. This is called cubicle, where a patient waits for a doctor to come and check him or her. So it's a cubicle. Wait. You wait in a cubicle. A space carries out some basic tests like the pulse, uh, heart rate, etc. A what? Yes, I can hear you and you are completely right. Thank you. A triage nurse, very good, carries out some basic tests, pulse, heart rate, etc. He or she asks you some questions and makes an initial what of your condition. Yes, 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 that's right. An assessment, an assessment of your condition. He or she decides the of care of all the patients in patients in his or her charge. Very good. If he or she decides the the priority, the The doctor visits you in the in the what? Yes, very good. Again, again in the cubicle. In what? In the cubicle as soon as he or she is available. Okay, the order of care. Okay, another uh, hospital policy. We treat patients in order of priority. In emergency, I would love treating a life treating conditions are like what? Huh? A life threatening conditions. Like what? Hmm. Very good. Heart attack. Like heart attack. Urgent problems. Like what? Yes. Breathing problems. Very good. This is this is an urgent problem. This is an urgent problem. Okay. Doesn't work. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is the breathing problem. Yes, and the non-urgent problem is like the sore throat. Yes, this is non non-urgent problem. Okay, so uh, the this is how a hospital actually uh, re rearranges the priority of cases. Okay, the last part is about waiting times in the ER. If your condition is not serious, you may have to wait before seeing a doctor in ER in the emergency room. However, our policy is to give quality care as soon as possible to all our patients. This is why at Central Hospital, patients typically spend two hours less waiting in ER than the state average of 4.5 hours. Okay, that's all about uh, the policy of the Central Hosp Hospital in Auckland in England. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this part. This is a very important part to know as a nurse. And I hope that you have um, learned uh, some new uh, nursing uh, terminologies. Um, thank you so much. Let's move on. Okay, another listening exercise. Listen to a triage nurse talking to four new patients. Decide which patient from A to D above is speaking. So now we are going to listen to a triage nurse, nurse who is talking to different patients. We are going to decide uh, um, in, in every conversation which what is the number of patients she is talking with. Patient one, two, three, or four. Okay. And in order to do this exercise, we have to go to the listening uh, part and then uh, coming back and answer. Uh, but before going to the listening bar part, let's do number five. Listen again and complete the sentences with the words in the box. We have baby pleading eye hurts leg word. He has problem with his left. Very good. Left leg. Her head is pleading a lot. My head hurts very good to limni i am space about the if i am worried about the baby my space hurts my eye hurts let's move on uh, to the listening of exercise number four this is a conversation between paramedic who is the paramedic i have mentioned it before at the beginning of the lecture yes the paramedic who 
Tabib Al Tawari, very good. And uh, N is for uh, stands for nurse. The paramedic, this is Gopta. He fell off his motor park. He's got problems with his left leg, as you can see. But apart from that, he is okay. He's just a just a pet chugged, I think. The nurse, hello Gopta. I need to fill in this form. Could you please blah 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 blah? Tell me your name, your date of birth, your blah blah blah. Okay, number two. I don't know how she did it. She was playing in the garden and she hit her head somehow. Her head is pleading a lot. P. My head hurts, mommy. N. That doesn't look too bad, Kelly. But I need to clean your head so I can have a really good look at where it hurts. Could you please let me do that? Number three. N. So how many weeks pregnant are you, Rosanna? Rosanna, 23 weeks. Nurse, and what brings you here today? Rosanna, I'm really worried. I'm pleading and it hurts a lot. It's not normal. I'm worried about the baby. Nurse, the doctor will be with you in a few minutes. Could you please have a seat? Okay, number four. Nurse, can you tell me what happened, Mr. Pratchew? The patient? I don't know, you know, I'm, to, I'm talking with this guy and then the next thing he hits me in the face. My eye, my eye really hurts. Okay, so the, this is the end of these four conversations. You are going to uh, answer the, the, this, the last part by yourself and just uh, you can send me uh, in your assignments. Let's move on to exercise number seven. Matches the sentences halves to make six requests. You know, in nursing, we have something uh, which we call the sentence halves. Okay, uh, uh, they must come together in order to make um, an appropriate question by which you can ask a patient or ask your colleague or ask a doctor. So the, these are uh, main expressions um, you have to learn in order to uh, know how can you ask a correct or an appropriate question in uh, a hospital. So number one, could you take a seat? In what? Could you take a seat? Ah, yes, I can hear you. This is the right answer. Could you take a seat in the waiting room, please? Could you take a seat in the waiting? Doesn't work. Why? In the waiting room, please. Number two, could you fill in this form, please? Number three, could you... Could you what? Uh, we need a, a, a sentence with a main verb, okay? Because we have here could is helping verb. So we need a sentence with a main verb and the only one is here. Could you lie back and try to relax? Thank you so much. Number four, could you tell me? Uh, 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 could you tell me? Yes, thank you so much. Could you tell me what happened? Number five, could you show me? What? Yes, thank you. Could you show me your head, please? Could you? Could I just ask you? Yes, some or a few questions, please. Thank you so much. Listen again to the dialogue and choose one of the requests from one to seven for each patient. Compare your, your ideas with a partner. Here in this exercise, you can just practice asking these uh, kinds of questions with a partner and uh, you can uh, just try to write down a conversation between uh, you as a nurse and your partner as a patient. You can ask him all these questions and he or she can answer uh, with the right uh, uh, answers. So it's some kind of um, a conversation. You can practice it if you like. Let's move on. Okay, checking in a patient. How can you check in a patient? Okay. Um, for a patient, in order to check in in a check in in a hospital, there are a check in form, and this is the form. And this form is um, the form of the Birmingham General Hospital. And Birmingham is one of the biggest cities in England. And this form is highly formal. And uh, any patient who enters 
Birmingham General Hospital must fill in this form. So we have to check this form together and you have to know the, the meaning of each part of it because uh, a nurse can help a patient to fill in this form. So you must have a, a complete knowledge about everything in this form. Number one, the title, Mr. or Mrs. or Miss. The first name, al ism al awwal, surname, huwa ism al aila, al gender, huwa al male or female, marital status, married or unmarried or divorced or widowed. DOP means date of birth, country of origin means al mawtin, 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 yani al balad al twalad fiha. Occupation means al job, al wazifa. The address here is the name, and it it must be written in details as you can see. Here is the telephone number of home, work, and the mobile phone. The GB is the GB is the the doctor's assistant, Doctor Alice White here with the telephone. Next of kin is the nearest relative. Okay, in because in in cases of emergency. Uh, a hospital must find someone to call and the relationship of the next of kin to the patient who is who is this person a husband a husband uh, a husband a wife um, a mother a father a sister a brother anyway and the telephone number the mobile a smoking intake <clears throat> does the patient a smoker or not allergies اي نوع من انواع الالرجي ناحيه اي شيء it must be written here Reason for admission, the reason the beginning, uh, uh, why to enter the patient to the hospital. Okay, uh, that's all about the uh, checking in form. You have to know everything about it, and you have to um, somehow uh, keep in your mind all the points that you are going to ask the patient about. Okay, thank you so much. Let's move on. Okay, um, exercise number number eight is a listening exercise. You are going to hear the nurse inter interview a patient uh, from four on page nine. Uh, which patient is she talking to? Listen again and fill in the admissions form for the patients. Listen again and complete the nurse's questions. Okay, so you, you are going to listen to a um, nurse uh, interviewing a patient. And according to this interview, you are going to fill in the spaces in these questions. Number one, can you give me your full... Uh, can you guess the right answer? Your full name, please. Number two, can you space that, please? Can you... Can you what? That, please? Can you fill in that, please? Number three, what would you like us to, <clears throat> to call you? Thank you. What's your space of space? Uh, space of space. Very good. What's your occupation? Do you have any allergies? Thank you so much. Let's check our answers from the uh, interview between the nurse and the patient. Uh, the nurse, I'd like to check your personal details if that's okay. Patient, of course. N nurse, can you give me your full name, please? Rosanna Cameron. Can you spell that, please? R-O-S-A-N-N-A. Cameron, C-A-M-E-R-O-N. Okay. Can I just check... Cam for Max, yes. E R O N for Nigo, yeah, right. And what would you like us to call you? Rosanna is fine. Rosanna, that sounds it. That sounds Italian. Where are you from, um, Rosanna? I'm originally from Catania in Sicily, but I came here for my studies. I got married, and now we are looking forward to our first child. I have been here for 10 years already. The nurse, that's lovely. And what is your date of birth, Rosanna? Rosanna, the 20th of the first, 81. Nurse, is that the 20th, uh, the 20th of January, 1981? Rosanna, that's right. Nurse, and what's your job? Rosanna, International Marketing Manager for AXXA. 
nurse, international marketing managers. Okay, now I also need to ask, what's your marital status and who is your next uh, to can next of can to contact in an emergency? Rosanna, I'm married and my husband Daniel Cameron is my next of can. His mobile number is o seven seven nine seven o six seven five one seven. Nurse, thank you. Do you have any allergies? Rosanna? No. Let's move on. Okay, um, in this exercise, uh, we have here a picture on your um, right hand. This picture actually clarifies all the parts of um, a patient's room. And um, here you are going to learn the name of each part of the patient's room. And you have to know how to pronounce uh, the names of these parts and you have to know how to uh, guide a patient to the location of each part of his or her room. So we have here bed, butter, chair, drawer, light, locker, table and TV. Okay, so um, let's try to match each part in the room with its name. Right. Here is number one. What is the name of number one? Yes, you are right. This is the light. Thank you so much. What about number two? Number two is? Yes, this is the butter. Okay, number three. Number three is the? Thank you so much. The TV. Thank you. Number four is the? Chair. Very good. Number five is the? Thank you so much. The table, very good. Number six is the bed. Number seven is the... Uh, can you see that seven and eight are very close from each others? Yes. Yes, number seven is the locker and number eight is the drawer. Yes, yeah, thank you so much. Um, okay, in this exercise, we are going to describe uh, the location of each part of the room. Uh, I will leave this exercise for you to do and I will be waiting for your answers. Let's move on. Here is again the conversation between uh, the nurse and Rosanna. And in this conversation, uh, she is actually trying to describe the location of each part of the room to, uh, to Rosanna. You can read it by yourself and you can go back to the previous exercise and do it at your assignment. Okay, uh, the last part of our unit for today is a speaking activity. You are going to work in pairs, take turns playing the role of a patient and of the nurse who admits the patient to hospital. Invent an identity for your patient, whether he is a, a male or she is a female, and what is the name of him or her, including the details below. Okay, أتتخيل the full name بتاعه والأدرس والفاميلي والnext of kin with date of birth with occupation marital status smoking intake allergies reason for admission and then you can copy a blank patient admission just the one just like the one uh, of the Birmingham uh, Central Hospital in page ten. Uh, you are going to interview your patient and complete their details in the form, then show the patient to their bed and explain the facilities in the room. Okay, so um, you, you are asked to write down this kind of interview uh, and you have to put it in your portfolio and I will be waiting for all the conversations in this unit to be recorded and to be uh, sent on our WhatsApp group in order to be evaluated. Thank you so much, my dear students. I hope that you have enjoyed our unit for today. See you, inshallah, in the next time. We salamu alaikum.